Okay, everyone, this episode requires a bit of explaining. Um, see, when we originally tried to record this, Mark's computer completely blue-screened on us, and a whole bunch of... And, uh, I had lost some stuff because I saved after talking to Commander Grant and getting a little scene. And, uh... Yeah, and then when we try to record it again, some other stuff happened, and we lost footage from that. And we tried to recover footage because we we could record this with Mark's live stream, and we tried to go to his live stream channel and recover footage from there. And long story short, that just wasn't happening. Like I tried that, and it it was a mess. So, I have two copies of the game. I basically <clears throat> traded an overpowered party from a completed file to our Let's Play file, or our Let's Play copy. Then I, then I played through the game, got the trading feature, got up to where I can trade Spectrums, traded the Spectrum back to the file that used to be completed, and played up to the part where I could have this story conversation. We're back, Commander. Nice work, you two. Two I call defeated and one kid saved. You two never cease to amaze me. Thanks, Commander. There's just one thing that's been bothering me. It's about the high crawl. I'm listening. Maja showed up just after I took showed up after I took out Gelber Gelber Gelberos. Boros. Gelboros. She, she said she was heading to Daichi. Hmm, I think I know what she's up to. The high crawl's actions thus far are any indication, then the tower on Daichi is probably next. Maybe so, but why would Mancha bother telling me? Well, our, all our forces are battling the crawl and Colin as we speak. Besides you two, there are no other NPP patrol. I hate that. NPP patrol. Nano Euro Planetary Patrol Patrol. That could be dispatched elsewhere. So, we're the only ones available at the moment. Do you think Macho's trying to lure Roland to Daichi? Why else would she have. The, bleh, why else would she have sent the crawl to Colin at the exact same time she went to Daichi? The riddles can wait till. Wait until later. We've got to hurry before we lose the tower on Daichi, too. But then if we defeat Majo, we'll stop this crawl that keeps swarming down Colin. Just say the word, Commander. We'll never know if we don't give it a try, and there's no time to lose. Very well then, head straight for Daichi, but it proceed with extreme caution. Roger that. We'll try to hold out on Colin with the forces we have left. Make me proud, you two. So, yeah. This ep anyways, this episode requires a crap ton of doctoring. Uh, we've had similar recording issues in the past with other episodes. I had a particular episode in mind, but I can't remember what it was. <sighs> I mean, like, what game it was, or anything. My mind's a blank right now. And the reason I'm solo today is because, again, I'm recording this while watching Mark's Cats. So, uh... You know, this is around the same time I recorded that episode 18 of the first game. And I also tried to record a casual Friday with the Callie and Marty Splatfest, and Mark's Hoshpaws just decided to crap out on me in the middle of a match. That was nice. Speaking of crapping out, on our second attempt to record this episode. I was on Daichi and I was battling on, by the way, Spikenor finally gets a Cyan Spikenor. 
we have this stuff usually recorded months in advance, so I've been using that other spike in ore for a while. Long before I ever saw that comet. Before that comet ever existed. So, yeah, there's there's a cyan spike in ore. Or spike in ore. Uh, truth be told, I don't know that particular subscriber's channel. I would say he, but I, I don't know if that's really the case or not. I've never asked. But what I will say is, don't get used to it. This episode is going to be a little on the long side because I did, I did quite a bit of stuff and like, we basically did, like, three different recordings. Two of them got scrapped. One... One is saved. One is saved, and that one is almost 15 minutes long, so this episode will maybe be about 20, 30 minutes. The only thing that isn't overpowered in this team is Rollin himself. All these guys, this won't take long. Oh, this stretchy guy here is one of my personal favorite spectrodes. So, yeah, sorry for the inconsistencies in this episode and all that other crap. It's a result of technical difficulties and stuff. Uh. Okay, uh, this episode is gonna be like really doctored. I don't even know where to take the episode up to now because we're just doing this. We're just doing this. We're just doing this. It better not glitch out when I'm fighting the boss. Remember, you read Hajas. Uh, here we go. Rowlet, I knew you'd come. Maja, you better tell me what you're up to. You can start... You can start with why he told me you were coming here. <laughs> you're smarter than you look. Just answer the question. Anything you say. I am about to flood the Nanayoro system with Crawl. Consider it a present from me to you. The entire system will be wiped out in a flash. Just like the ice planet Hyoga, which was decimated long ago. Long ago, Ga. You may be a Spectro Master, but what could one person do against such a massive force? I'd say your chances are smaller than the grains of dust you blow away from your fossils. What are you getting at? I have a little pr proposition for you. I believe there's a way we could help each other. Rollin, I want you to join me. You see, I need the power of a Spectro Master. And in return for your cooperation, I'll stop the crawl heading for Nanahiro. Do we have a deal? Never! Don't be a fool! Well, were you even listening to what I said? Your defeat is inevitable! It's not over until it's over. I'm gonna smack down that Crux guy and other and the other high crawl after I'm finished with you. <laughs> you are an ambitious one, aren't you? Very well then. Let's see what you let's see what you're made of. These dark spectrobes should be a perfect test. Dark spectrobes. They were regular spectrobe fossils, but then they got snatched by the crawl and darkly possessed by some kind of tar-like substance. It was probably black. So, this is a fixed fight because no matter how you try to t this, no matter how you try to tough it out, you just can't beat them. As I will attempt to demonstrate ooh, meteors. Meteors! See, that guy has one HP and nothing is happening. Huh. 
Yeah, it's staying alive, all right. This is my first time seeing this. It actually isn't. Although last time it was lagging and stuff around this point, so I'm not sure how much Mark really saw. <sighs> New rule for recording on 3DS. I'm not going to multitask. I'm just going to do anything I want on my tablet if I need to. Yeah. I d we didn't have to do that before, but apparently now we do. Those dark spectrums! They're too powerful! Can't come back to the fixed fight factor! Now this stuff is stuff I've already seen. I mean, I haven't seen. Oh, poor little Rollin. Are you going to cry? You gonna cry? You gonna cry, Rollin? You gonna cry? <laughs> you know what happens to little boys who don't listen? They get a spanking. That's what. <laughs> in that case, I'll save... this. In this case, I'll save you the embarrassment and just destroy this tower instead. Now, another portal has been opened. With it, I can double the number of crawl I'm pouring into your planetary system. This little planet will be a lifeless chunk of rock when I'm through with it. No! Don't! <laughs> F follow me through the portal if you think you can stop me. But there's one catch. You'll have to use dark spectrobes if you ever hope to beat me. Yeah, when I get to the next planet, I have to get two dark spectrobes. Of course, them. that's assuming you're even up to the task. Ha 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 ha! Well, actually, not when I get to the next planet, but the planet after that. <sighs> I can't win with the spe with the spectrobes, and I couldn't even protect the tower. Fixed fights are bullshit. I feel so powerless. Roland, come in! Can you hear me? Gina! What's wrong, Roland? I failed. I wasn't able to protect the tower. Roland! You couldn't protect any towers! You're just a total failure! You gotta live with that! <laughs> you fought with everything you've got! Don't let it get you down! Come back to the patrol cruiser and tell me what happened! And we should report to the commander, too! Chin up! The crawl haven't won yet! You're right, Gina. I'll head back now. Uh, we'll cut back. Uh, cutting back now. <sighs> Wish I had my jetpack. Jetpack! <laughs> I want my jet backpack, and we're back, by the way. We're back! <sighs> this episode is gonna be so doctored, it's gonna be full of parts that Mark salvages from live stream and shit. <laughs> Roland, the commander wants to speak with you. Roland, you're a total embarrassment to the force. I don't know why you're on the force. <laughs> uh, I've got some good news to report. The crawl have vanished from Colin. We took a beating, but we survived. What happened to him for one? Daichi. Sorry, Commander. I couldn't save the tower. I expected as much when they, when that new portal suddenly appeared. Yeah, Maja mentioned that after she destroyed the tower. I think her exact words were, Now another portal has been opened! Roland, you suck at doing Maja's voice! I know. <laughs> so that's why the High Crawl have been ar going around destroying those towers. They want to open new portals through which... They want to open new portals through which to send Crawl. <laughs> we won't know for sure until we investigate further. Roland, Gina, I want you to examine that new portal at once. We're on it! Roger that! I don't know about you, but I smell a trap. Maja is trying to lure us through that portal. Maybe. Who knows? Well... I think Majo wants to somehow use your power for something bad. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> what do you think she could be planning? I can't really put my finger on it. Well, if so, that means she won't try to finish us off until the moment we enter the portal. 
Mm-hmm. What? It's a trap and you know it. Yes, so? What are we waiting for? After you! It's a trap! I, I, I've i been wanting to use that one. Yeah, skipping the tutorial. I'll do this minigame for this portal once, and then I'll never do it again. You can buy new parts for your ship or make new parts for your ship that, like, changes its performance in these minigames, but why even bother? I'd rather have the gummy ship sections from the first Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. At least I shot things and I could, I could lose. Yeah, what the heck? This, like, has no point. Like, put some crawl on outer space that I could shoot. But only Spectrobes can defeat Crawl. Ugh. So lame. What's the problem with this setup? Hey, Mark. Yeah? You think when you eventually do Kingdom Hearts, you could, like, make a gum uh, gummy ship that looks like a patrol cruiser from Spectrobes? Uh, probably. I'm going at this at full steam, and I'm not even crashing into anything. Or at the very least, have give me lasers to blast the meteorites and a health bar or something. Yeah. So where did this new portal take us? Let's see. Yep, just like I thought. We're in another star system. There's a planet nearby. That frozen one from last time? No, this one's lush and green, except for... Wow. Except for what? A huge blackish lake, and there's a dark vapor emitting from vapor emitting from it all the way into space. The planet looks inviting enough, except for that creepy looking lake. What else do you know about the vapor? Hold on, I'll I'll do a detailed scan. It's a crud vapor! Oh my! What is it? Crawl! There's a massive stream of crawl in that dark vapor stretching into space! And they're heading straight for the portal! That no good Maja. She's trying to send these crawl into the nano arrow system, but if the crawl were going through the portal, then why didn't we see any on our way? Yeah, <laughs> what the heck? What are we gonna do, Rowan? I'll start by checking out that lake. Be careful, yeah, there. 19 minutes. I've got to cut some out, but still 19 minutes. Yeah, well, we're cutting out a bit because of that time when the computer seemed like it was going to crash and then I had to start the whole thing up again. Yeah. I'm going to take this to, like, I don't know, little... Uh, well, until... Fawns. This planet is called Fawns. Hey. Anyway. I'm going to go investigate that lake. Also, word of warning, the crawl around this planet are extremely powerful, so it might be best to have evolved spectrobes. Rollin actually says that when he gets back to the patrol cruiser. In the next episode, I'll actually show off what excavating looks like when you do it in the water. I just I'm just trying to forward the plot right now. Because it's the first time you could excavate in the water. <sighs> I'll also battle some of the crawl and screen next time. <sighs> Purple vortexes mean that the crawl in them can be mixed. Well, I guess I'll try my best to battle. I only got one Evolved Spectrobe. And some of these crawl like to try to play singed and uh, make giant clouds of hurdy stuff.
I was thinking about running, but it's like, you know what? I haven't showed off any of the crawl that you fight in this planet. Ugh. I gotta go get some cords. Cords, cords, cords form a jungle. <laughs> the Spectro Accords. <laughs> we'll, we'll just call it the Tony Accords and we'll all sign it right now. Deal. <laughs> hey! It's like, Tony, you're the one who needs to be brought into check. Beating up these guys. Go Wabby! I mean Wasabi! <laughs> Wabby! Peppermint Dog! I'm gonna... I'm gonna kick your butt with my candy cane butt. Kiss your butt with a candy cane butt, and a candy cane butt wins. <laughs> wins. It wins. Oh yeah. Dang on it. Okay, I'm gonna run from this battle, or maybe not. This is a good opportunity for some XP. If I can hit someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Wasabi! Level up. Whoa, 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 Did... How... Wait, where the fuck am I? Yeah. I... I got all disorientated. Wait a second. This isn't my world! Disappointed! This whole thing's made out of crawl? How can there possibly be so many? It would take ages to battle them all! Rollin, do you copy? Yeah, what is it, Gina? I just spotted a satellite in that column column of vapor heading into space. And it's still operational. I detected its energy source. A satellite? I wonder who built it and why. Who knows, but it seems to be in stationary orbit right above the Dark Lake. I don't like the sound of that. We should investigate further. Hurry back to the patrol cruiser, okay? Will do. I will hurry back to the patrol cruiser in the next episode. Okay. That see. I'll be recording today. Bye.